You are watching Weather Now Northern Ontario, starring weather as showbiz. Yeah, the calendar does say October 1st, but there's a look and feel of June, July, and August. Jonathan Kovac and Timmons, good day. Thanks for tuning in. This is the weather headline for today. It's a giant cloud. This is a thunderstorm cloud with orange and almost purple tops. Armstrong Lake, cloud cover, storm cloud tops up to 50,000 feet in the core of the cell right over here. Cloud cover moving into here at home, and the cloud cover extends in a giant circle from as far north as, let's say, Pawanik, as far back west as Thunder Bay to beginning to affect the Capus and Hearst region. These two frontal boundaries, warm, cool air loft, marked by the red-blue line, stretching in the double parallel track from the Manitoba border, Lake Superior, Northeast Ontario, continuing over towards Quebec. What's helping to invigorate the warm air, three ridges of high pressure between James Bay, Quebec, Windsor, London area, spinning clockwise, combined with the low showing up on the system's map, which is counterclockwise. So that helps to bring in the extra temperatures that are nice and warm, way warm for this time of the year. Lightning detector at 1015. Again, this is October. 50 plus strikes north of Calsock, 1000 plus half of Beach and Hearst and Long Lack, west of Hornpain, 500 strikes reported west of Manitou Wadge, and a few more that are bubbling up along the Trans-Canada Highway. So between Hearst and Geraldton, that's about 2,000 plus lightning strikes in development right now. Watch the cloud cover moving around. You can see the main cell just north of Lake Superior, the cloud cover stretching into here at home. The general direction again is southeast as the cell begins to forecast to be diminishing. We're gonna watch and see how it continues to affect our region here in Northeast Ontario. Early evening radar, the only active weather reported. The automated weather station at Moose Knees reporting some light rain earlier this evening. It came to an end uh, somewhere between 9 o'clock. Rain is pretty much light, but whatever's going on between the Trans Canada and the 101 East West here at home, good to go. No man's land, dry, which is good. That's what we want to see. What's going on for the overnight? Well, interestingly enough, high pressure stationary over Quebec. We're going to continue this mo uh, forward moving generator of heat. Combined with the new low entering Ontario from Manitoba, this is bringing in some warm temperatures, big time, because our Humidex values for Monday, for October 2nd, 30 plus degrees. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Well, hopefully it lasts like this for Thanksgiving. And again, we can do the counterclockwise rotation here, clockwise here together. We put these all together and you get that wonderful wind from the southwest it's a wind tunnel from the southwest eight o'clock in the morning the winds don't change the temperature reinvigorates itself low pressure skirting towards the northeast it is forecast to be sitting just north of Geraldton with the warm front northwest of Moosonee good to go here depending on which forecast you look at weather network says maybe a risk of a shower otherwise variable clouds for Monday environment Canada thinks it's going to be a big mess we'll talk about more of that later on